it's funny, you know, even the days I've treated Oro a little bit uh, glibly, without thinking or unconsciously, or the days I've treated him, you know, bad, in, in you know, even the slightest context, he's still come back, right, he's still here, we're still good pals. It just got me thinking before too, why do women leave you when they apparently love you, right? They'll sit down, hold your hand, have the tightest conversation of bullshit. And they believe their own bullshit too, it's interesting. Why do they leave you when uh, you cannot provide physical material goods? Think about it. Think about how shallow that is compared to real love or, you know, unconditional love. Which I've continually found men have, real men, actually, not bitch men, right? But real men have, and women don't have. Women only seem to, to me, anyway, tell me if this is your perspective. Pretty sure it's every real man's perspective that women only have you know conditional love right it's on conditions can you provide for my child can you do this can you do that can you do blah 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 can you uh make me feel distracted enough by buying me some new toy the next day you know what i mean can you buy the bmw next week blah 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 is the house coming i don't know whatever little gadget they need whatever right you got to provide it. You're the man, the provider. But what's another word for this? The person providing the energy, right? What's another phrase for that, I should have said? Obviously, another phrase is the person providing the energy, right? There's, there's barely any women. There are some women, right, that have a soul that will stay with you when they are the provider. When they're you know, putting most of the energy into your relationship or onto the ship that you two are sailing and still stay with you, right? Very few women, but there are some, but I don't know how long that lasts, so possibly it's zero, actually. Because if it's time limited, then it's actually still zero, and they're just giving you a time limit. So for six months, maybe they'll provide for you for a year. How long, my fellow friends? Have you tested it? I sure have. <laughs> Most definitely, because I was onto this long before the organic portal, uh, you know, moniker came up in my life. Um, especially on the Gold Coast. I remember on Gold Coast, there's many like, you know, like wealthy, empowered women. And I was with this one girl and... Sure, she'll provide for a while, but they all go down the same, you know, path of the norm, right? The social norm is that the man is the provider or the energy inputter, right? And we know that this is an energy extraction matrix, and we know that it's a secondary feminine matrix because female is default, in the womb until week 13 until you get testosterone shot and we know also by you know once they're grown that many of these men are really like women in all their behaviors and their emotionality over logic and so forth anyway it's interesting isn't it that the woman will leave dependent on energy she'll stay dependent on energy input in don't forget the meta meta idea and meta theme in an energy extraction matrix <laughs> these are huge gnosises right these are massive gnosises that should change your life and if you haven't from just hearing the term energy extraction matrix it means you don't have your own spirit because you haven't thought about it so therefore, all men right now in 2022 with women, you can complete the sentence, right? They're not real men. 
<laughs> they're at best soul soul humans, right? They're not self spirited higher spirit um spirit walker humans, right? We're definitely only the one percent. The people who can fully see this place. Definitely only one percent. Like the spiritual elite, but by default, sorry. <laughs> right? And we're unpsychopathic. It's not like, you know, the the physical monetary elite who are psychopathic trying to control the planet and stuff. If you're spiritually elite, it's the opposite. So it's all good, not all bad, actually. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was very, very um, obvious, but that it needed its own video title within my channel and on YouTube, in fact. This title, right? Why do women leave you when the material goods stop? When you stop giving them material things, check it out. Just stop giving a woman material things. And boom, they'll be gone very soon. And you'll be way better off. But not if you're a bitch man. Because the bitch man, they need company. Like a woman needs company. <laughs> well, yeah, well, when was the last time you saw a woman just meditating and living alone a life? <laughs> if you're going to pull a leg, pull the middle one, dickhead. Because I don't believe you, because I haven't seen it. It doesn't exist. Like we talked about in our all, our all Women Organic Portals video number two. Barely any of them, if 10%, I have a high doubt on that percentage. If 1% are walking a higher path, right? Which reveals, it just reiterates that this is a secondary feminine matrix, Right? Then you can also reiterate that a thousand million ways, like how they are really controlling, you know, the environment, so to speak. And some people say they control the atmosphere, like within vicinity. I agree with that. You know, the channel that talks about that. Anyway, it's interesting, isn't it? Like, it's just the simplest test. And it also reiterates their materialism. Materialism is also the opposite of spiritualism, right? <laughs> so it just reiterates their organic portal nature. Just another nail in the coffin, ladies. <laughs>